Hi, Country Changers. Welcome to another month. Uh, this feature month is Leeton, and I'm really happy to have on the line with us uh, Hannah William and Rachel Broadbent. They're from Murrumbidgee Investment Services. Um, Hannah actually moved to the region nearly three years ago close to four from Newcastle and Rachel uh, was a born, is a born and bred Leighton girl. So really um, excited to talk to you ladies. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you for having us. So um, we'll probably cover a few different topics with you girls today. Hannah, we'll get your um, experience of having moved to the region um, and then as property managers, just what people can expect if they're looking into the region. So um, first up, Hannah, tell me a little bit about your country change to Leeton. Um, I loved it, actually. I moved down here, yeah, as you said, three or so years ago. Um, I come down here, um, a partner of mine, ex-partner of mine, he came down for work, so I just moved. Um, and then I just decided to stay. I down here. Um, I sort of grew up on a little farm, hobby farm in the Newcastle area. Um, so I sort of was around that country feel and I just loved it. So I stayed. The community's just great too. So that's one of the main reasons. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Those, those stories where people will move uh, or their spouse will move for a job and then, you know, they intend to only stay for the contract period of one to two years and yeah. then staying so it's nice that you decided to stay as well what was some of the I guess the key things for you that you loved about the region um mate, yeah it's just the community I worked at the pub when we first moved down here um and I just made so many friends um my age I'm only 21 so um just lots of friends that are my age and then older as well like um, good friends that are in their 60s and um, 50s just from being at the pub and it was just very um, like a family um, and I yeah it's just fun down here it's such a it's such a change but such a good change so yeah. and look that's hey it's so brave of you at that age to go to a region where you didn't know anyone but to put it in context for people watching this um, video Leeson um, when we're looking at where it is in relation to some of the capital cities. We've got Newcastle up here where you are from, Sydney. It's about a six hour drive or so to Sydney, five or so to Melbourne. Um, and then you've got uh, uh, Wagga and Canberra as well as those um, sort of closer inland cities. Um, so, you know, a fair distance away from, from Newcastle, but it sounds like you had such an amazing, like, point of connection with other people yeah. to fit in really quickly yeah yeah and I feel like most people work well if they move to it's like everyone's very welcoming yeah um and what what are some of the ways that you I guess it sounds like you went to the pub well you worked at the pub um which was a great way <laughs> to people what are some of the other ways yeah. to make friends when they move to a regional area that you think works well um, I definitely think that work is one um, and going out, like I worked at the pub, but I also went out and had some drinks um, and I think meeting like one person, you then meet others um, and coffee shops, there's lots of coffee shops <laughs> and everyone drinks coffee around here, everyone likes going out and catching up for breakfast, lunch, dinner um, and like that's how I met Rach was through her daughter, I was good friends with her daughter and it's sort of just connections that you make um, just from going out. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Rachel, as someone who grew up there, um, what are some of the things yes. that, um, some of the things that you have seen, I guess, attract people, um, not just from the social perspective, but some of those other broader opportunities? Because let's be honest, we've got to more than like the people when we're moving to a, a um, what are some of the key pull factors that you find? I really get people to stay. Yeah, well, I've got two hits at the moment. So basically I'm the president of the local football club as well, football nipple club. So we do get people into town in regards to football. We do try and find them jobs. There are a lot of job opportunities in our area. Um, we have a lot of industries. So, yeah, getting people to town, getting that um, 
that rapport with people as well, getting the jobs, getting that social aspect and trying to, um, yeah, keep them in our town <laughs> like I am with a henna at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah. So explain some of the key industries that attract it will get to, um, yeah, we sort of just cut out there. But, yeah, we do have a lot of key industries. We've got Sunrise, Cop Rice, we've got JBS. Um, we have Webster's now, we've got Walnuts. We have Cod Farming now in our area. Um, what else is this? It's the line um, industry, which was um, buried before. We've got wineries. We're only half an hour, the 40-minute drive to Griffith, which, um, as you all know, is the wine uh, capital. <laughs> Um, of our area. So, yeah, well, we do have a lot of industries out there. Um, harvest time, you can bring a lot of employees in, a lot of backpackers. Of course, over COVID, we didn't have that um, that luxury of those workers coming through um, and through our town. So that was a little bit hard. But, you know, it's all up and open now. So, yeah, there are a lot of industries out there that are out there looking for people to work. Yeah, one hundred percent, and and their industry is not only related to ag or engineering. Um, I think mm. one of the misconceptions people have about if you work in a regional town, you're either a teacher, or a nurse, doctor, or work in ag. But even with yeah. the industry, they are seeking what you know what would be classified as white collar professionals, and there is a there is a skills shortage across the region. Um, in in fact, a lot 100%. of percent regional areas um so yeah was looking to make a country change to Leeton as property managers yourselves what's some um, what are we looking at from the perspective of the types of property available to rent yep. um, the median prices and what are we looking at from our vacancy rate because we've, we've seen across the headlines across the country mm -hmm. securing a rental or even a property to buy can be tough so what's it like in Leeton in Leeton at the moment, as we had this conversation earlier, um, we do have properties on our rental list. Um, you know, there is probably over the last two months, there's been, it has been a bit quiet um, through application processes. But at the moment, in the last week, I think we've, you know, since Monday, we've rented probably four, four or five properties out just within the week. Look, with properties, you know, you can look at a four or five bedroom home on a quarter of an acre block, two bedroom, uh, sorry, two bathroom, um, two living areas, lock up garage, uh, patio area, and you can go from anywhere from 480 a week to 550 a week. So you've got that nice big backyard feel, um, the outback feeling um, with not the cost of the um, city. So, yeah. <laughs> Melbourne or Sydney would be fifteen hundred dollars a week plus, I would imagine, of that. Company. And only around the corner for more facilities. So really, yeah, yeah. winning in both worlds. <laughs> I've noticed is that salaries have increased in the regions over the past couple of years because they are trying to attract high caliber yes. workers. So um, I am noticing significant wage increases in those regions, but the you know the cost of living is is remarkable markedly different um from the perspective of competitiveness the vacancy rates um you said it's been a couple of quiet months but what would your advice be for someone who might be interested in making a country change what should they prepare themselves for well basically renting a property is just like purchasing a property you know at the end of the day we're given a key out to you know a five hundred thousand dollar house so you, the application needs to be on online like we just don't need a name and number we need all the details that you know that we put out on the front of our applications um you are competing against other people um we do get that you're coming from out of town but there are resources that we can use to show you the property um, via zoom or you know facetime or so forth but we need that application to be on, on part of it. yeah so should people yeah. just for things to take a little bit longer or to be on a wait list or I know some real estate agents we've spoken to in the past says look get it get on a wait list so we before as before a, mark, a property even is advertised your email yeah okay. um yeah look as mentioned before we do a pre-approved application process so we don't do open homes or anything like that 
um, you know, it alleviates the stress um, of the landlord and the tenant themselves. Um, we do that pre-approved. So yes, if they are approved or two or three people or prospective tenants are approved for that property, then yeah, we do keep that pre-approved application. If there is a property that does come up that's suitable for that person, we do give them. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, Hannah, as a young person or younger person, I should say, um, <laughs> some of the, um, you've talked about the community being really friendly, but what about a lifestyle perspective for you? It sounds like you haven't been short of things to do. So what are some of the social things that you get up to? Yeah, definitely. Um, one is work. Like, as Rachel said, there is heaps of work opportunities. Um I've only, I've had a few jobs around town, mostly in the pubs. I've worked in a few different pubs um, and then I've come to Rachel and I've been with Rachel for oh, 12 months now almost. Um, but around town, like everyone goes out to the river in summer uh, for river swims. We go camping heaps. I love fishing. I um, go fishing with a lot of friends um, and I have dogs at home too. So <laughs> you just go for doggy walk with your friends as well like there's just so much to do around here um and it's all yeah family and friend based like it's yeah very inclusive yeah about, um you Rachel is there anything you'd like to add around the things that you love doing from a um a lifestyle perspective yeah. Oh, well, look, I've got four children, so they range from 21 to 11 years old. So um, we're very uh, sport-orientated family um, and we're a very sport-orientated town. So um, we, I think, we filled nearly every sport possible that you can think of. We've got soccer, we've got rugby, we've got union, we've got AFL, netball, basketball, there's volleyball Wednesday nights. Um, you know, we've got really great schooling in um, our town. We do have two border schools, so one in St. Francis College, that is a weekly boarding school, and then we do have an agricultural um, college, Yankawag High School as well, that um, boards full-time, and I think we get people from way up at Burke, like there's people in Queensland coming down to board at this school, so I think that gives the town a broader range of um, activities like yeah they can fill the teams and yeah, move forward from that other than that there is yeah friends barbecue camping um, there's never a dull moment yeah no and I, I hear that <laughs> nearly every interview someone who's moved out to the country a bit yeah. might be bored they're like we're busier than ever the social calendar is packed the um yeah community groups and boards yeah. and things so that acceleration of, of careers also talked about um quite a lot as well so um yeah. um i was just going to share my mm -hmm. in terms of if people are wanting more information about leeton shire they can head to countrychange.com.au and head to the town plan a visit section and on this page with leeton you'll find out a little bit more about um the region it being in the murray irrigation area um, what it looks like from a uh, climate and access perspective and some of those lists around uh, schools that you were just talking about. Uh, and there's also contact details on here as well, which I must have, um, uh, Michelle Evans uh, and the team at the council would be more than happy to answer yeah. questions um, around opportunities, uh, attracting uh, particular businesses I know they are every single region is trying to attract certain types of business and industry mm -hmm. that need um was there anything else that you ladies would like to add about you know this, this amazing place called Leeton um, no, just come and have a walk for yourself like you won't be disappointed I think a lot of people it's funny um, I've got family friends that are in the city and they're like oh so where do you go shopping um at Woolworths <laughs> like you know it, it's bigger than what you think we do have um the facilities for everything you know we've got three major um supermarkets you know we've got pubs we've got clubs um you know we've got the facilities it's only half an hour to Griffith and an hour and 20 to Wagga which is our major center so you know we've got the facilities here it's very inclusive it's a great town 
Um, but you need to come and experience it yourself, really. Um, yeah. yeah. You get the hello when you're walking up the main street and yeah. you go for a coffee and, yeah, you'll feel very welcome. Yeah, and look, the, the population of Leeton is about 12,000 or just under um, and a very welcoming community, a very pretty um, heritage community. Um, you'll see in the post this month on our um, socials a lot of Art Deco um, heritage listed, beautiful um, architecture that's quite unique, I find. Yes. But also you've got the Fiverr uh, Wetlands, which is um, a listed uh, wetlands which is beautiful if yep. you're birds and nature and walking tracks are plenty um around that place. oh there's heaps and Narendra's only like 15 20 minutes you have to and they've got beautiful like they're live in the Murrumbidgee as well and they've got beautiful wetlands and walking tracks with koalas and yeah all the native stuff it's really good yeah, those walking tracks to spot a koala are, um, are very pretty so um was yeah. there anything else you'd like to add Hannah yeah, no, I would agree with Rach. It's just you need to come and see it for yourself. Um, it's like my parents, they come from Madawi, where I'm from, and they come here and they, they're just, yeah, they're stoked that I'm down here. They're, yeah, they know I'm in safe hands, so <laughs> they're not too worried. Yeah. Yes, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, ladies. And if uh, anyone yeah. wants more information, as I said, head to countrychange.com.au. Go to the Leighton page and if you do need more support in uh, your country change, make sure you get in touch with us. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Bye.